Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my haul. Well, hopefully, I'm going to try and show you my haul from, let's see, Friday, June 1st, and then today, which was the 8th, because I didn't really buy too much today. And tomorrow, I have two rummage sales to go to, so I might have a lot of stuff. And of course, they're, you know, one's in one direction and one's in the other. So I had to kind of bite the bullet and pick which one I wanted to go to first. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Um, it's been an interesting week around here. Been trying to get work done. And then <laughs> Tuesday, it was like wild kingdom around here. I went to leave because I had errands to run. And I walked out into the garage and the garage door was open because my daughter had left to go to school. Not long before that and um, there was a pretty long garter snake he was you know I don't know probably at least a couple feet maybe more long just sitting in the middle of my garage I'm like oh hello <laughs> after you know he of course startled me because I didn't expect to see a snake in my garage so I figured okay well just go put one of my husband's latex gloves on and pick him up by the tail and, you know, fling him out into the woods. Yeah, that was a good idea until then my cat walked into the garage and decided, you know, the, and saw it and went, oh look, mommy brought me a toy. <laughs> so he starts batting the snake all around the garage. The snake is, you know, going crazy. I'm trying to get a glove on and keep the cat away from the snake and then, of course, right before I go down to pick him up and throw him out of the garage. The cat batted him over towards a couple of Rubbermaid totes and he snuck in between them. I'm like, ugh. So I had to leave with him in the garage. And as I walked out of the garage, my cat followed me. And then I got in the car and I'm looking, you know, make sure I have everything. And I look back up, I don't see the cat. I'm assuming he's outside. Close the garage door, leave, come back like, hour and a half later open the garage and out comes the cat with like this you know look on his face uh, so I don't know if he killed it I haven't seen it since we've all been looking for it um, but we can't find it so I think maybe the cat killed it and it's somewhere on the other side of the garage um, probably like under my husband's Camaro which you know he has all taken apart but we'll keep our eyes open. And then as I'm coming home from my errands, I get stopped in the middle of the street because there's a car stopped on one side and a car stopped in front of me. And the car that's stopped on the other side, the two people had gotten out of it and they're poking something with a stick trying to get it across the road. And I realize it's an enormous, what I'm assuming is a snapping turtle because if it wasn't, I figured they would just pick it up and stick it in the grass. So they're, you know, they're trying to move it across the road with this stick. He was a big guy. So of course I rolled down the window and I look at him and I go, yeah, I thanked him. I said, thank you for doing that because I would have stopped and done the same exact thing. <laughs> Which I would have. And I have done in the past. <laughs> I will always save turtles in the street. Um, and then we have a baby groundhog in the, in the, backyard who's absolutely adorable and then soon we will have baby birds in our microwave vent chirping away as background music when I do these videos so that's what's been going on this week oh and that same day it rained and we had like this big double rainbow across the sky so it was a pretty cool day on Tuesday um just wish I could have gotten the snake out of the garage I feel bad if the cat killed him but anyway um all right, let me start with this first rummage sale. Um, oh, wait, actually, before I do that, <laughs> I just have to show you guys how strange my family is and why I'm scared about my upcoming birthday because my husband keeps asking me, even though my birthday's still a little less than three months away, you know, it is my 50th, so my husband keeps going, you know, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I want you guys to not do something insane. That's what I want. Um, and bizarre. But this is why I say that. Because they're not good 
generally at, at buying gifts for me. Or they just buy weird things that you couldn't even dream of. So I just wanted to show you guys examples and why I am scared <laughs> about September 2nd. Because um, my son just went to Vegas. He comes back. He buys my husband a t-shirt. He buys my daughter a t-shirt. So I'm thinking, I'm going to get a t-shirt. No. Of course, he bought them both like weird, sarcastic t-shirts. So I think I'm going to get the same thing. No. And I have to preface this by saying that down in our basement, my husband has a calendar that I, I bought as a joke years ago. Um, it's a hot buns calendar. So it's basically 12 months of women's behind. Okay. It's in the basement where nobody can see it. Um, and so now it's just become this weird tr twisted tradition that I buy him one every year. It's not Christmas unless, you know, he gets his latest hot buns calendar. So my son, instead of buying his mother a t-shirt like he bought everyone else, he buys me this. <laughs> he buys me a book called The Hunks and Chunks. And he tells me that um, he bought it because... I deserve to have some eye candy like my husband had downstairs with his calendar. And I'm like, really? What am I going to do with this? <laughs> so that's the first thing. And then on Mother's Day, my son, thank God, we had gone to Kohl's together. Um, for some, whatever reason, we ended up there together. So he bought me two Harry Potter t-shirts for Mother's Day, which is great. Love them. Fantastic. Great present. Um, my daughter, on the other hand, had her own ideas and told my husband and had him order something for me from Amazon. And they're always teasing me about how old I am. So this is what, I, you know, the sentimental loving gift that I got from my daughter on Mother's Day. I got a t-shirt with a dinosaur that says, all my friends are dead. <laughs> like, oh, come on. <laughs> so, of course, everybody in the house thought that was absolutely hysterical. So now you guys know why I am deeply afraid <laughs> of September coming. Oh, enough of that. Let me go on with my rummage sales. Um, the first one I went to was a new one to me. It was out in uh, Easton, Pennsylvania. It's about 40 minutes from here at a church. It was a strange setup. Kind of reminded me of the one in Pennsylvania at the car dealership near my mom's where it's kind of like this little labyrinth that you have to get through to get to whatever room you want to be in. Um, but the prices were dirt cheap. Uh, but it was kind of confusing about where you were supposed to pay because they had a Christmas area and you paid there and a jewelry area and you paid there, but they didn't specifically tell you that. So now that I know it'll be easier next time, but this time around it was a little confusing. So the first thing I got there, I went in their, their main room that had like their housewares, their books, their toys, crafts, all that stuff. Um... I got this needlepoint kit. This is actually finished. It just has to be blocked and made into a pillow. This is from Art Craft Concepts. Uh, what's it called? Summer Flowers Pillow for a buck. Um, might get 10 to 15 out of that. Then they had a bunch of other needlepoint things that were all rolled up together. So I paid like I don't know, I kind of averaged it out. I paid, I said I paid 50 cents for this one, which is really nice. This is actually, actually cruel. And this is Art Craft Concepts 1980, but I can't find a title for it. So hopefully at least, at least 10 on all of these, I'm hoping. I don't know about these two. These two were a quarter a piece. There's this farmland landscape and this winter landscape. And these are both from the early 80s. So we'll see. Um, then the other thing in the craft section was this paper cutter. It's called a craft light cutter. It actually has a 
on off switch and has all these LED lights so I don't really know how that helps very much at all when you're cutting paper but okay as an arm that swings out has a straight blade and then four other blades I think it's missing the perforating blade something like that um, I don't need this myself because I need another paper cutter like I need a hole in my head so can probably get maybe 10 on that plus shipping and then um, I got there like right when they opened the door so obviously I didn't get to where I wanted to be right off the bat because um, it took me a while to get there because I had to wait for my daughter to go to school so um, in the kind of perfume health and beauty little tiny section they had the only thing that I could score was this um, this is from Murad this is a purifying goji berry body wash I think this actually came as a set with some other goji berry something but it is sealed I think it was 50 cents something like that 50 cents or a quarter um, maybe 8 to 10 including shipping on that then what else did I get in the houseware section oh I got I did get a couple mugs these were both 25 cents a piece I got this one with the papillon from Rosalind and then this really pretty poppy mug and this one's from Danoon. So I'm thinking no problem with 10 plus shipping on this. Maybe 8 to 10 plus shipping on that one. And then uh, on my, I did go in that room twice. On my second trip through, I did pick up these. These are enameled cups from the Golden Rabbit. Never heard of it before, but they make a lot of enamel wear. And I figured with 4th of July coming up, I'm going to get these listed soon, but these are cute little enamel wear flag cups. They only had three. They were 25 cents a piece. I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 plus shipping on those. Um... Then the other thing that I got on my second time around was this big tin. It happened to be under a bunch of stuff, so I missed it the first time. But it was only two bucks, and it's full to the top with buttons. Um, old vintage buttons, you guys, if you can get them cheap. A lot of people know that they're worth money, so sometimes you can't get them cheap. But if you can get old vintage, you know, mix a lot of buttons, sometimes they can, they can sell really well on eBay. I think I've got probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 pounds of buttons downstairs that, you know, including this, that I have to get up and listed. I've sold some before, but I still have more. And Lord knows I don't need any more of myself. Um, I have to start getting rid of some of my craft stuff and doing some de-stash videos. Uh, the other thing that I got in the housewares room was this. You guys have seen this before actually from me. This is from Timber Kits and this is the drummer. Um, you turn the little handle and he drums. The kit is brand new and complete except the glue is dried up but that's not a big deal. It's just your normal either Elmer's glue or wood glue. So, um, And this is already in the system which is great. It was in there with um, one other thing. It was the battery drive that can run this you know on its own so I just have to change a couple things in the listing and then pop that right up uh, I should be able to get about 15 to 20 out of that and I also got this Wilton Armitol piece I paid a dollar for the drummer thing if I didn't say and I paid I think a dollar for this yes this is a Wilton Armitol chip and dip I think it's supposed to have a little thing that goes an extra piece that goes in here but it'll sell anyway without it um, it is marked on the back Wilton Armitol but this is the cabbage chip and dip um, hopefully 20 plus shipping on that and 
Then the best thing I found in the housewares room, and pretty much the best thing I found at this full sale, was this piece that I found in a plastic tote full of utensils. And I saw that it said Togi Haru, and I'm like, ooh, Japanese knife, Japanese knife. Um, this is by Blue Apron. I opened it up, or for Blue Apron, actually. And it's this gorgeous, gorgeous knife, brand spanking new. Um, as you can see, the tang goes all the way down to the bottom of the handle, which is very, very good. So I had to pick it up. I think I spent, uh, what did I spend on it? 50 cents on this, you guys, and it's worth like 60 bucks. So really happy with that. Very happy my late husband, who is a chef, taught me to be a knife snob. So I have tons of knives that don't need another one. I have his knives, I have my knives, I just, ugh, love to buy knives, but I gotta start, I should start getting rid of some of those too, I don't need all the ones I have. Um, okay, so moving on, I think that was it in the housewares, and then the only other stuff I bought was in the Christmas department, which was kind of on the side wall of one of the rooms across from the jewelry and the bake sale, which is strange. But I bought this butter dish. This is from Fault Craft. This is their, what is it? Christmas Heritage Butter Dish. Cost me a buck. And replacements right now is selling these for $40. So I can at least get 20, maybe a little more out of that. Then for, I think this was, I think she charged me less for this. Um, I, I don't even know if she charged me for this because I gave her everything and she said four fifty when everything actually added up to like five seventy five. So, who knows? But this was um, this is a Beleslewick Poland Polish stoneware spoon rest uh, holiday themed or winter themed. So maybe like ten on that. And then the last thing I bought in the Christmas section. Actually, the last thing I bought at this sale were these Hallmark ornaments. These are from their Illuminations collection. This is Starlight, Star Bright. has three ornaments. You do need the power pack for this, but I think they're pretty easy to find. Or some people you know, already have one. And then this is the Snowflake Snowballs. I actually have three boxes of these. So four boxes of ornaments in total. I think I'm going to sell them as a lot. They cost me a dollar a piece and I'm pretty sure I can get um, 40 for the whole lot plus shipping. So not too bad. So I would definitely go to that one again, hopefully be able to get there a little bit earlier. But then that same day at night, um, out in Doylestown, um, you know, not far from the border of Jersey and Pennsylvania. Um, I went to another sale. I've gone there. I think this is my third or fourth time I've been going there. And they always have the first round at night between 5 and 7 or 5 to 8, something like that. So I got there around 4. Thankfully, it was a nice day. I just sat on the sidewalk and read my book for an hour. And um, their prices were a little higher than I liked on some things, but still did okay. And then I got to go to Dairy Queen after and have dinner and have my blizzard. So my m and blizzard, so I was very happy. Um, let's see. First thing I got there for 50 cents was this Dimensions cross-stitch kit. This is ladder back chair. Maybe 10, including shipping on that. It's a really small one. Uh, also got this one, which has been started, which is not a big deal. But this one's from Creative Circle. It's a really pretty one called, uh, what's it called? Jacobean Sampler. So hopefully 10 to 15 on that one. That one costs me, also cost me 50 cents. Then of course I went, you know, right over to where all the perfume and all that stuff was. And I'll show you what I scored from there. This is a box of Juicy Couture stuff. Whoops, which is backwards. It is open and used, so I'm going to sell these two things together and not in the box because, I mean, the box just takes up way too much room. But there's, um, 
Okay, what is this? A 3.4 ounce perfume, which is full, and the Royal Body Cream, which is not, as you can see, but somebody still might want that, so. We'll see. At least, probably 20 to 30 plus shipping, I think. I don't have all the prices for the perfumes and the body lotions and stuff straight in my head because I looked at those days ago. Um, but then this is the rest of it down here. I got some Crabtree and Evelyn lavender bath and shower gel. I'm going to say an, on average at least um, $10 a piece on all these things and I think most of them cost me a dollar or 50 cents. This cost me a dollar. This is a bottle of Ocean for Men Signature um, Cologne Spray from Bath and Body Works. This is almost full, so maybe 20, 18 to 20 on that plus shipping. Um, the rest of this is all Bath and Body Works stuff. This is, I didn't even know they made this line. This is Bath and Body Works Luxuries. There's Purely Silk Gardenia Body Splash and Purely Silk Coconut Lime Verbena Body Splash. They look to be full or almost full, so um, hopefully at least 15 a piece on those. This Black Amethyst um, Shower Gel. At least 10 on that, maybe a little more, I think. Then there's Moonlight Path. Whoops. Moonlight Path Shower Gel. And there's also a Fragrance Mist in there, too. So I'll put those together for maybe uh, 15 plus shipping, maybe. Then there's this Sweet Peas Shimmer Lotion. This is also... Bath and Body Works, and then Sweet Pea Luxuries, what is this? Shimmer Mist, whoops, come on, there we go, um, so I'll probably sell those together, I think, for maybe 20 plus shipping, and then finally, I think these were 50 cents a piece. This um, Beautiful Day Shower Gel and Body Lotion. These are like uh, travel sized. So maybe 10, including shipping, on those two. So that was it in the perfume department. They really didn't have anything left after I got through with it. Then, I think the last thing I got there. Oh, there was one other thing, and I don't have it here, but it, it was a little plastic kind of. Um, Zip close, um, you know, like a like a sandwich bag zipper. It was a little plastic envelope that had a bunch of Burt B's makeup samples in it. It was supposed to be from the, I think it was their makeup artist kit or something. There were a couple things missing out of it, but it was basically complete. I think it had seven different cards full of samples, eyeshadow and lipstick and um, foundation and powder and whatever. I can't find any on eBay, so I might just put that up at auction because I don't have any comps for it. And... Okay, I had to start again. Then, for 25 cents, I picked up this um, fairy tale mystery mug. It's not in the greatest of shape. It has a lot of crazing and staining, as you can see. But it's got this little character inside. So, for 25 cents, you know, we'll pop it up there for 10 bucks and see what happens. And then the favorite thing I bought from the sale, and I would keep it except for the fact that I know I probably wouldn't use it um, since I already have a baby book for my son, is this vintage baby book from Hallmark. This is adorable. Look at the little bear. Oh my god, he's so cute. But this is a satin cover. It says... Hallmark album right there, when you care enough to send the very best. This is from 1969. And for those of you who like vintage, I mean, this could not be cuter. I mean, look at this, you guys. This cost me three, 
Three dollars? Yeah, this cost me three. Oh, and I actually did buy silverware too, which I forgot to bring out here. I got a set of Oneida Vista flatware. I think they were like 65 pieces for 10 bucks, which I should be able to easily get like 60 to 70 out of. But love, love, love this book. And it's in perfect shape. So I should easily be able to get 20 plus shipping for this. So that's the little baby album. And that is it for the rummage sales. So then today, there wasn't much going on, no rummage sales going on. And I didn't think there were many sales going on, but I actually found, managed to find four. Um, the first one I hit, they have it twice a year. It's not far from my house. Um, and it's a charity sale. Absolutely everything that they earn goes to um, pay for, help pay for the co-pays of patients in the um, cancer ward over at our hospital. And so I don't mind paying a little bit more, you know, which I, I did at the sale, that's fine, because it's a cause close to my heart. Um, you know, I lost my first husband to Ewing sarcoma, which is an extremely rare bone cancer. It's actually a pediatric bone cancer. They said it's kind of like winning the cancer lottery. I'm like, ooh, yay. I would love to win the other lottery that involves money. But um, anyway, um, so I did not mind at all paying a little bit more for the stuff that I purchased. I was actually laughing the other night. We were watching America's Got Talent, and this little girl got up there, and they said, what would you do with the money if you want? And she's like, oh, I would donate most of it to... Um, hospitals and animal shelters and I just started laughing and my husband looked at me and he's like is she like your clone or something <laughs> because I say that every time like if I won the lottery of course I would you know put a little aside for myself but then I would invest the rest and you know hope it made money and then periodically take that money and give it to like St. Jude and animal shelters and all kinds of causes like that I mean what do I need all that for Oh, anyway, moving on. Getting off of my soapbox here. Um, I bought a few things at that sale. I spent $20 total, including a yoga block, which you guys don't need to see my yoga block that I bought. Um, started doing a yoga DVD that I got from the library sale for like 13 cents a few weeks ago, and I absolutely love it. I love yoga. so, And it's not easy either. I'm like, jeez. Oh. But I still really like it. So anyway, this is, uh, I got two puppets from Sunny. And pretty much the two names you want to look for when you're looking for good quality puppets are Sunny and uh, Folk Manus. Folk Manus is F-O-L-K-M-A-N-I-S. Um, so these are two from Sunny. This is, uh, where is it? King David. wants to show up there. There we go. And then this is just, I guess, the king because I, I did a Google search and it just comes up king. So he's nameless. You can name him whatever you want. Um, but they're both in really good shape. I paid about a dollar a piece, so probably these go for pretty good money. I'm going to say 20 plus shipping on each of those. So we'll see what happens. Then I bought three CDs. These were uh, approximately a dollar a piece. These are rock and in rock instrumental classics from Rhino Records. I got Volume One, the '50s; Volume Two, the '60s; and then Volume Five, Surf. Couldn't find three and four anywhere. But if you have the whole series, they sell for about thirty to thirty-five. So I figured these three I can probably squeak. Like 18 to 20 out of plus shipping and they're all in really good shape and then I also got another weird hairbrush item just like those Revo rotating stylers that I keep buying um, this is again from Revo and another company called Talavera this is called the split ender I had never heard of this thing before in my life you put batteries in it you basically Make sure your hair is 
combed out really well. Take a section, stick it in here, and I don't know if it like burns off the split ends or it cuts them off or it does something, and then the excess hair ends up in this little compartment that you pull off and you empty. It's really weird. But this thing looks brand spanking new like it's never been used. I don't have the instructions, but there are instructions online, so that's not a big deal. I paid about three for this and should be able to make, I think, like 50 to 60 bucks on this. So, really happy I found that. And then last but not least at that sale, I got a nice Metlock Villery, Villery, Villeroy and Bach Stein. This is of William Tell, who is right there. And the little boy with the apple on his head right there. It does have a couple nicks in the top here, but that shouldn't be a big deal. And I know it's, you, you can hardly see it, but there's a little castle here, and it says Metlock there, and it says Villeroy and Bach. And this was a limited edition in 1990, or 1981, I believe this is only given out, or shipped to people in the Collector's Club, the Metlock Collector's Club. So I'm hoping, I don't have the box for it. So I'm hoping minimum 50 to 60, maybe more, maybe like, I think I might pop it up for 75 at auction and see what happens. But um, I think I paid, I think she charged me 10 for that because she charged me 20 in total. So after that, I went to another sale. I don't usually go to this one, but I went to it because um, there, there wasn't much go else going on and it was pretty close to the one I was already at. These people pretty much just take over estates they buy them out and then they put everything in their yard and a lot of times their prices are way too high like for example they had all these longer burger baskets there and the woman wanted like a million dollars for every one not that I was asking because I'm not a basket person but this other woman I heard her asking about prices and the prices were outrageous so I ended up just getting three things from there and thankfully um, I've kind of learned at that sale, you, you have to try and find the things that you think are under their radar that they don't think are worth a lot of money. And then you can usually get some things you want for a pretty good price, which is what I did today. So I got this bottle of Sensual Amber Eau de Toilette spray from Bath and Body Works. This is a really good scent. It's about 85% full. I don't know if I'm going to sell it by itself or put it, I think I have some other sensual amber things that are already up. I might pull them down, take different pictures, and then pop it all back up. So we'll see. But I paid about a dollar for that. I paid a dollar for this, but this isn't going to be sold. This is for my daughter's best friend, who absolutely fell in love with the guy who plays The Flash on the TV show. I think it's on the WB. And she loves him, wants to marry him, even though he's already married. And so now everything in her world revolves around the flash. So when I found this ornament, I absolutely had to buy it for her. So my daughter's going to be over the moon that I found that for her best friend. And my big money maker from that sale was this. Never saw this before in my life. This is called the PMD Personal Microderm uh, Microderm Abrasion Tool. It's basically like a Dremel for your face. <laughs> it's really kind of disturbing. And it has all these little sanding discs in it of, you know, different abrasiveness. They're all in here. And you pop them onto the end of this thing and you just sand your face. So, I don't know what you go got going on with your skin that you need to... Dremel your face, but you know, whatever people knock yourself out But this cost me three bucks and I can probably get um with the cleanser That came with it Probably 60 to 75 dollars plus shipping. So Really happy. I found that And I was also really happy to get out of there too because the lady that runs the sale Oh my god, she walks around and she has a cigarette hanging out of her mouth constantly and then when you go up to her and you ask her questions, you know, she'll smile at you. And it, it's disturbing because this woman's teeth are like 18 different colors. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> she, she scares me. I hope she doesn't hand out candy on Halloween because, holy cow, the children would be terrified. Um, 
All right, so last but not least, I have a couple more things. I went to one sale that was supposedly an estate sale that people were selling their aunt's stuff. And it was kind of annoying because every single thing I looked at, the, the husband and the wife wanted to come up to me and explain the history of every item. And then they started to say, oh, well, we looked this up and we looked that up. And I'm like, Ugh, okay, well, I'm not going to get out of here with anything good. But I did find this. This is a Catzilla mug. Has a few tiny little flea bite chips on the top. Really small, so no big deal. But paid a dollar. Should be able to make 15, maybe 15 to 20 plus shipping on this because they sell pretty well. And then, the final item I bought was at a very tiny little garage sale and the lady had all this stuff wrapped up in plastic. And I'm going to show you, I'll show you a few piece, actual pieces, but I wanted to show you the picture of the whole thing. This is the Lennox Holiday Village from 1992. It's apparently pretty hard to find. And I bought all these pieces for $25. So not too bad. There is some delusional person on eBay who wants this collection, I think minus a couple pieces, because I actually have doubles of a couple. Um, they're all in the box and they want $700. I'm like, what? I don't know what they've been smoking, but I don't think they're ever going to get $700. But I have this. This is the train station. It says Lenox Station on it. You can see that. Really nice pieces. They're all dated on the bottom. This is the church. They're beautiful. And then I actually have two of these houses. This is the Walter Walter Scott Lennox house. I have two. I was kind of bummed when I opened the first one because it had a little tiny chip on it somewhere. I think it was here. Oh no, it was up here. But then I opened another one up and found that I had two. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm not sure if I'm going to sell these individually. I think I'm going to sell them as a set, and then the couple duplicates I have I'll sell on their own. So I'm hoping to get at least, mm, I don't know, 150 or more out of that. We'll have to see. Might have to wait till Christmas. So that's it, guys. Sorry I rambled on. Um, but I know I'm going to have a lot to show you guys from probably tomorrow. So that's why I tried to fit all this stuff in together. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.